Well, what's going on, everybody? This is Jeff with Island Hopper TV, and today I'm going to do a little bit of a unique video. I'm going to explore the old historical neighborhood of Charleston, South Carolina. So, in this area, you can do tours and see some of these old mansions. Uh, and just to tell you the name of this road, or this is Zigzag Alley, the one that I'm on now. But around here you have Calhoun Mansion, Robert William Roper House. You have Nathaniel Russell House a little bit further away. But we're going to go over here towards where the Calhoun Mansion is and explore these historic neighborhoods. So if you've ever wanted to know what historical old school classic Charleston looks like that's what this video is all about so stay tuned as we continue walking through here They have different roads, right? So this is brick, the brick road, pavement, brick. So let's see here. I'm gonna walk that way. See where that takes me. Go this way a little bit. Yeah, let's keep going down there because I can see water. What a beautiful uh, river harbor Charleston sits on and close by here is the Fort Sumter National Monument Eighteenth Street Church 18 Church Street Charleston is actually one of the oldest historical towns around. I mean, it used to be, it goes back to when, before America was America and had the 13 colonies. This was originally named after Charles of England, King Charles of England. That's where it gets its name, Charleston. Look at this. You gotta have big money to live down here. When the car's coming down the road, you know it. Especially when it's a rain road. So this park to the left is called the White Point Garden. And to the right, that was William Washington House. This is Meeting Street and South Battery. We are now going back away from the river, or the harbor. And we're going to go check out the Calhoun Mansion. So this is 2 Meeting Street in, and they have vacancy. From what I understand and what I saw, rooms in this area range between $200 to $300 per night. 
It is currently September 14th, 2019, and it is not peak season, so I don't know how much they go for in peak season. Look at this tree. This tree said, not today, sidewalk. Do you imagine how many pipes that tree has disrupted? <laughs> But that tree breaks pipes. I don't simply tear down a tree either. <laughs> it's breaking pipes. You build around that tree. This is the Calhoun Mansion. So tickets and museum shop. Gosh darn. Now this is cool. Giving some gardening ideas here. So it is $17 per person. Yeah. Focus. So it's $17 per person. But there's specific tours and you have to wait for the tour to start. So uh, that's to see the inside. The outside's pretty nice, garden. Let's go see what's up with some of these other homes in the area. That's a big mansion. I'd love to see the inside of that one. I got more time. And then around the corner, there's a house that looks more like it's French. So they use that as a house. And there's another house they use for New York. So, I mean, it's, 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 so this area here is called the Rainbow Row. Do you see? You've got a white house, a purple house, a pink house, a yellow house, a light pink, a blue, a yellow. That's what this place is called. So if I go this way, I go towards the harbor, Charleston Harbor, and if I go this way, I keep seeing more of this rainbow row. So, what I'm gonna try to do here is cross the street, if I can, at some point, and give you guys a look at Rainbow Row. But I think seeing it from the other side of the street is better anyways. See from her about 18 months or so. That's a so if you should so choose, that's what it's going to look like. 
to walk it. Or you can get the tour. And I am now going to walk back this way down one of these cobblestone roads. This is real cobblestone. <laughs> These houses were built with some serious craftsmanship, some attention to detail. Nowadays, we build everything with wood, styrofoam, insulation, and car uh, drywall. Unlike these homes, which are built out of brick. It would be interesting to see if the stuff builders are building today will last as many years as these did. Initial assumption would be no. <laughs> but what do I know? I'm not a builder. So this is Joe Riley Waterfront Park. I do smell food down here. here but it goes to the Bahamas and Hurricane Dorian really affected the Bahamas with storm surge. So there's the Carnival Cruise. It's just not doing much right now. Pretty cool. Nice place to get a pick. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 